Dinner's on the table Hanging back at work I'll get there in a Mabel Had some plans I guess you'll have to throw them back That's why we pay her This ain't no fucking dream act But as to wait Where do you think she goes? It's getting late Man, I hope that bus does show Welcome to another episode of Nothing But Dicta The podcast where everyone has an opinion And you get to hear it I'm your host, Aaron, and today we're meeting up with Professor Peter Smith to talk about the side of him that you don't get to see in con law. I just wanted to say thank you so much for doing this. We really appreciate you appearing on Nothing But Dicta. Sure, no problem. So, I know teaching con law probably presents its own challenges, but what I really want to hear about is how many guitars do you own? (laughs) Well, I have to stop and count. Let's see, I have five acoustic guitars and I have I think I have 12 electric guitars Professor Tuttle made a bunch of them for me because he has nothing better to do with his time and I helped him make some of them but yeah I have I have more electric guitars than I need definitely definitely but I play the acoustics all the time do you have one that's like particularly your favorite like I have three here that are my children Ah, so I'm partial to Taylor's for my acoustic guitars and so I have a Taylor 800 series that I really Mm -hmm. like which is really good. But they're all, I mean, they're made of different woods, and so each wood has a different sound. But yeah, that's right. probably the one. I was going to say, I'm more yeah. partial to Martins. So I come okay. from the area of Pennsylvania that's like right near Nazareth. So it was very easy to go buy one directly there. Right, right. Cool. Um, all my all my tailors are um, they're acoustic electric, so they all have built-in pickups and just kind of a nice, a nice feature. And I like the tailor expression system. So the music that our listeners heard in our intro was actually your band. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? So our band is called the Trophy Husbands, and I met my bandmate, uh, Jimmy, at an event for parents at preschool when our kids were really little. I mean, just for context, our kids are are first years in college this year, so this was a long time ago. Um, And we discovered that both of us play guitar, and we started playing guitar together and then at some point he he said well we should go out and play in public and and i didn't leap at the opportunity but he had played in the band for 12 years in japan and so he eventually persuaded me to play at a neighborhood pig roast and it was actually a pig roast there was actually a pig on a spit we played on on someone's deck which was fun and our second gig was at a, a neighborhood swimming pool we were sort of over in the corner playing and people would occasionally sort of appear to be listening and then at one point a, a three-year-old girl walked over and she like gave us the thumbs down signal so at that point oh, no. like it could have ended right there but we stayed at it she may have had kind of quirky quirky musical tastes and you know now we are obviously a worldwide rock sensation um it's actually been about a year since we've played a gig because we played last fall in dupont and a bunch of one l's were there and then i had a really busy fall semester and we were going to play probably in march but then the world ended and so we haven't but we we have scheduled a hobby night with the sba Mm -hmm. it's supposed to be about my hobby and so we're just going to play like a 10 song zoom gig for the students on on some wednesday in november we think it's gonna be november 11th but that's not confirmed yet so so i guess like where did this whole passion for music come from like i could ask you a lot about con law but i think we're all exhausted and at this point our one l's are like getting hit in the face with the law so i kind of want to talk more about like what you like to do outside of con law better to hit him in the face with a guitar yeah Um, so i played piano when i was a kid i still play piano but i played when i was a kid i took lessons for a few years and then like a lot of kids stopped practicing and so I stopped taking lessons and then at the end of high school I kind of got interested again and started playing piano again and first picked up a guitar basically the summer before I went to college and then I brought it with me to college and I was kind of lucky because the kid who lived across the hall was a really good guitarist and so I would just kind of strum with him like he would he would play lead guitar and I would strum and I played all through college and you know, I would like sit out in the courtyard with my guitar and then you know like over the years I played guitar here and there and when I when my wife and I got a house um, 20 years ago we, we got a piano and so music has kind of always been around and then my, my my daughter is kind of she's a big singer so there's always music in the house did you ever feel like 
having this creative outlet was like beneficial to you both in your professional career and your law school career? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, if for no other reason than that, like you said, it's an outlet. Sometimes you just need an escape from, you know, that other part of your mind that's working when you're in school or, or when you're working at a job. And so at various points in my life, I've had other people around who also play music. So my brother-in-law, when I was in law school, lived nearby and he's a musician. And so we used to get together and, and, and play a lot. And, and others over the years, including Professor Tuttle. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, for people who like music, it's kind of hard to imagine not having it in your life. Mm-hmm. And uh, in any event, it's, you know, I, I think like in the last 15 years or so, which is roughly how long I've been playing, playing in my midlife crisis band, you know, that it's one of the things probably that brings me the most joy other than family and teaching. Well, thank you so much for being here, but we're out of time. So I'm going to let your band, The Trophy Husbands, play us out of here. If you guys like their music, you can check them out at justalittleflat.com. And as always, tune in next time for another episode of Nothing But Dick Dicta. Get the kids at school, homework's a disaster. Swim, taxi, soccer, proxy, deal with it after. Tears in the backseat, a broken heart always bends. Don't get a scratch on Dad's new Mercedes Benz Cause Esther waits Where do you think she goes? It's getting late Man, I hope that bus does show Cause Esther waits Where do you think she goes? It's getting late Man, I hope that bus does Man, I hope that bus does Man, I hope that bus does show Show Esther waits. Where do you think she goes? Cause Esther waits. Man, I hope that bus does show. Cause Esther waits. Where do you think she goes? Esther waits. Man, I hope that bus does show.